With jury selection over, Roger Clemens arrived at federal court to hear the government case against him. He's charged with lying to Congress three years ago by saying he never used performance-enhancing drugs. In its opening statement at Clemens' perjury trial, prosecutors said they have material Clemens' former trainer used to inject him. Uh, prosecutors revealed today that the testing they had done on those needles and cotton swabs revealed that it was Roger Clemens' DNA and that there were traces of steroids still there. Ex-Clemens trainer Brian McNamee says he saved the needles and cotton in 2001 to protect himself if Clemens ever faced steroid allegations and sold him out. Clemens's lawyer told the jury McNamee was lying. He said they won't dispute that it's Clemens' DNA on those uh, needles and that there are steroids in them, but he says that Clemens' former trainer, Brian McNamee, mixed it up and manufactured the evidence. McNamee is the government's key witness against his former star client, who sat with a clenched jaw as he heard the allegations. This whole case rises and falls on the testimony of Brian McNamee. He is the one person who said he witnessed Roger Clemens using performance-enhancing drugs. Ten of the 12 jurors are women. The panel as a whole says it does not know much about Clemens or baseball. There were a lot of people in the pool who did know who Roger Clemens was and they knew about his career, but attorneys from both sides seemed to want to get rid of those potential jurors and they wanted people who were basically a blank slate. The prosecution has started calling the first of 45 planned witnesses who will include some of Clemens's former teammates in a trial expected to last several more weeks. Sagar Magani Associated Press at U.S. District Court, Washington.